Hello and welcome to another quality video blog post from CMSQuickstart.com. Do check out our previous blog posts over at CMSQuickstart.com slash blog. Or just click on the word blog on the front page. Today we're going to talk about two modules. That uh, One of them that I think you all know about and one that I think many of you don't. Let me start off with the unknown one. Module filter. It's been around for almost two years now. I just discovered it. Why? I don't know. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, briefly, it takes that module page, the admin build module page that like has like you know a sea of all these modules that you've been playing with, and some of them are turned on, some of them are turned off, and what have you. Uh, it really cleans up the module listing page. You'll, when I show it to you, you're going to freak out. And here's one that I'm, I'm surprised a couple people still are not using: vertical tabs by Dimitri. When I, when he first explained this to me long ago, I didn't get it. But it wasn't long after that I saw everybody using it, and I used it too. So it's very awesome. And this this is more of a usability thing and how you administer your your back end. And uh, these these modules are certainly worth their weight in gold. And uh, they need to be installed and, and enabled on your site. And uh, of course, we're going to use my site, dougman.com, to do all this, because that's just where I like to play around with stuff. It's my blog and also my big sandbox. And before I jump into module filter and vertical tabs, one quick word about CMSQuickStart.com, who makes this whole video blog possible. Um, if you're looking for some quality, good-looking, high-functioning profiles that are highly pre-themed, highly pre-configured, you can just uh, set them up, uh, take out the uh, sample text, put in the real text, uh, real images, and then launch your site. There are 20 or more options to choose from in here, ranging from $75 to $150. We didn't have this three years ago. If we had, I would have gone nuts over this stuff. So uh, the turnkey solution to your next Drupal project. Back to my site. Uh, right now I am not logged in. So this is the zero theme, by the way. I really like this zero theme. I struggled for a while to find a good-looking theme for my site, but I found one. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to go to the admin build modules page, which, uh, of course, I have the admin menu up here. If you're not using that, Oh my goodness, uh, I won't even talk about that. So here's the modules page. In one click, I get to the modules listing. Now this is what most of you, I'm assuming, are familiar with when you look at your modules listing page. It's just dun da dun da dun I'm still scrolling, and then someday I'm going to get all the way to the bottom, but then again I might not. I might have to take a nap. Okay, I'm back now, and there's not much further now, is there? Okay, well, it's about dinner time. So, I don't know, are we there? Oh, okay, I'm at the bottom. So, I'm going to hit the home key and jump to the top. I'm going to do a, a find on my page. And then my little box pops up over here. And uh, as you can see, I have the word filter in there. So, the word filter, there's a PHP filter. I'll hit enter. There's uh, the markdown filter. I'm not looking for that. There is the, uh, the word filter appears in GMAP. There's the module filter. Okay, the module filter is what I'm talking about. Recall that is right here, the module filter. So I am now enabling that module. I'll hit the end key and drop all the way to the bottom and hit save. Now because this module affects the admin build module page or the module listing page, once I save this it will instantly give us the results because this is the only page it affects. You are gonna go nuts. Look at this. If you're familiar with vertical tabs, this is this is almost kind of a a vertical tabs interface for your modules. It breaks all your modules down into their categories here, and you can go looking around. So if, if the other if the other category is what you're looking for, just go down here to other, select that. Here are all the modules in the other uh, group, and uh, and go go back to all. You've got them all. And um, boy, you can't remember the name of that module, but it has the word uh, but it has the word filter in it. Put the word filter up there it gives you just the modules where the word filter appears in the name. Now that is not the same results I got when I did a com uh, command F earlier uh, to do a, a word search. It searches only the names of the module. That's pretty cool. So I can also say um, I don't want any filter like this. Take that filter back out. So now I have a list of all my modules. Um, but as, as I'm scrolling through, you know, that, that's a lot of un, uh, a lot of not enabled modules. A lot of disabled modules. So I only want to show the enabled modules. Okay. So show me just the enabled modules. And here they are. Here they are. There's only a few pages of this. Just a few pages of enabled modules. I have tons of pages of of disabled modules. So that, that's that's very cool. That's very cool. So now let's do something else. Let's go take a look at an editing page of one of my blog posts. We'll go to the front page. 
We'll go to uh, flying out to Dallas for Drupal Camp number nine. That was a good time uh, just a few weeks ago. And I'm going to edit this post. Okay. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with vertical tabs, then what I'm about to show you is what you're used to seeing. I've got the title, the blog type, the menu s settings are all in there. Uh, right now they're collapsed. I could I could open them up if I wanted to. Scrolling down, I see I got uh, uh, meta tags are already open. Uh, sitemaps already open. Other uh, other options are in here. So you know it's it's, it's uh, it can be a lengthy page. And if you have more options and more modules installed, then um, you have a pretty long page. So very similar problem to the list of modules, the module listing page. The page gets too long and it becomes unruly. And when you hand these off to a client, now, th now this is something a client could use, not just you as an admin, but your end user could use. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm about to show you. So there's a big long list of options and fields and groups to open and collapse here. Let's go back over to site modules and look at the vertical tabs. Now we're going to use the module filter module. I'm going to put in VERT and it filters all these names. So cool. Vertical tabs. And save it. Now that was cool, man. I mean, that was like really quick. So dig that. So once my vertical tabs are turned on, I'm going to go back and edit that page again, and you're going to see a dramatic difference. And uh, I, I almost didn't put this in the video for today, but uh, I'm coming. You know, I, in my travels, there are a lot of people. You know, I, I, when I'm demonstrating something, I have vertical tabs on, and they're like, "Hey, what is that?" So I'm going to show you vertical tabs. And now it comes with uh, your Fusion Skinner themes from Top Notch Themes. They just naturally put that in there for you because they know you're going to love it. So I'm going to uh, specifically go to the very first node there and edit this and check it out all the things that were all squashed up and down and some were above and some were below um, they've all been put in these little tabs uh, if, you, if you want meta information click on the vertical tab so a vertical tab because it's a vertical listing of tabs you want to change the path it's down here XML sitemap settings over here comment settings over here so this area here basically just you know is a is a uh, temporary pane containing whatever you want to talk about over here. Printer functions, file attachments, publishing options, all those things. Just uh, to your heart's content, choose what you want to affect, and this area over here allows you to affect it. So today's modules, and that one is vertical tabs. Right there it is. Before that, the uh, cool module filter over here. So check them both out at drupal.org slash projects. I am still Doug Van, as I always am. And if you're going to uh, Drupal Camp Asheville, North Carolina, see you there. If you're going to Drupal Camp Atlanta, see you there. If you're going to Drupal Camp Indianapolis, uh, October 23rd, I'll be there as well. For my, what, my 11th, 10th, 11th, and 12th camps this year. We are CMSQuickStart.com. Check us out at CMSQuickStart.com. Check out the blog posts. Hey, um, uh, I'm getting some comments and conversations going on in some of these posts I've been doing. Um, some saying, hey, you should use another module for that functionality. You shouldn't be using that specific module. So <laughs> I'm getting called out on my module choices, and that's great. Bring it on. So if uh, if this vertical tab module was helpful to you, or the or the uh, module filter, I mean, it's uh, it's been around for almost two years, and I just now found it. So if this is new to you, tell me I'm not alone. And if you've used it for years, you know, pop in and say, hey, <laughs> Doug, wake up. So. Thank you so much for joining us for the CMS Quick Start video blog today. And do catch our next one and do send us feedback. We love hearing what you have to say. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.